Hello my dear friend. In this video, we're going to show you, how to fix no sound or audio issues in Windows PC. Before we start, if you are watching this on the same device that has sound issues, then please enable video captions. To do that, please click on this little button that says CC, and you will get the text over here as I speak. Solution 1. Check mute and volume level settings in all possible places. I know this is a very basic step, but there are so many places where your audio could have been muted accidentally, without your notice. The well-known place to start with, is the main sound icon at the taskbar. Please ensure it that it's unmuted and also ensure that the level is set right. Right-click on the sound icon and choose Volume Mixer. Over here please ensure all are unmuted and the levels are set right. If you are facing this issue in browser, please right click on the tab and unmute. If you're using apps like Zoom, Skype etc, please ensure that you've chosen the right audio device and set the volume levels up. And most importantly double check the physical volume control in your speaker or headphone or your laptop. Some of the speakers may also have physical mute button. Please check it out. Solution 2. Double check cables and connections. Check if your speaker is actually getting power. Most of the speakers comes with power indicator. If it's not on, then please try changing the power socket. You should also check the port to which you have connected your speaker or headphone. There could be many audio ports in your computer. And each one has its own purpose. If you are connecting to the rear side audio port, then mostly this green colored port is the one to which you should connect your speaker. Or if you are using front panel port, then look for this headphone like symbol. Remember there could be another similar looking port that is specifically for mic. In some computers and laptops these two ports are combined together and one single port is provided, and it requires TRRS jack just like the one that is available in your mobile headphone. Unplug, replug, rotate the connector or jack position and use different ports. Please try out all such possible steps. Solution 3. Ensure that the right audio output device is enabled and is set as default. Please select volume icon, click on this little arrow, and choose the right output device. If it still didn't work, then right click on volume icon and select sound settings. Select sound control panel. Double check that you're in playback tab. Over here you should enable your playback device. And also set this as default. If the issue still persists, go to properties. Select advanced. Over here, please try changing the default format one by one and test to see if you are able to hear the test audio. If format change did not work, then please restore this to defaults. Additionally, on the Enhancements tab, please disable all enhancements or sound effects. And see if it fixes your issue. Solution 4. Run Windows Audio Troubleshooter. Please open Admin Command Prompt. And execute this command. All commands and links that I refer in this video are provided at the end of the video description. Go to Advanced and ensure that this repair option is ticked. Please go ahead and select your audio output device. Based on the problem, your troubleshooter may give you some recommendations. Please follow those on-screen recommendations and see if it fixes your issue. Solution 5 Uninstall and reinstall audio driver. Right click on start. Go to device manager. Now locate all possible audio output related drivers. Right click any one and choose uninstall device. Please remember to enable this check mark and uninstall. Do the same thing for other drivers related to your audio output. Once this is done, please restart your computer. Windows will automatically download and install the audio driver for you. Solution 6. Update audio driver. There are two ways to update drivers. 
With the model's name and specifications, you can search and download the latest drivers from your computer manufacturer or motherboard manufacturer or sound card manufacturer. Once downloaded you should install the same in your computer. Alternatively, you can use the free software called Driver Easy. I have provided the link in description, please download and install the same. Once installed please launch Driver Easy. Select Scan. Remember, using this free version, you cannot use this update all. So please go ahead and deselect all drivers. Now precisely select the update near your audio driver. Select manually create and continue. Select manually install and continue. This downloads the driver files and you will get a pop-up. Please go ahead and copy this entire folder path. Now please go to device manager. Right click on your audio driver and choose update. Select browse my computer for driver software. You should paste the path that you have copied already. Please include subfolders. And click next. Once this installation completes, please restart and see if it fixes your issue. Solution 7. Check BIOS audio settings. Reboot your PC and be ready to press the BIOS key for your computer. Generally, it is shown during boot process. Once you are in BIOS, please look for devices. The screen and navigations could be little different for your case, but please try to look for similar settings. Under devices select audio. And over here please enable the onboard audio. Now please save the settings and exit. Once your system is back, please check if your sound is working. Solution 8. Restart audio services. Search and open services. Locate and right click on Windows Audio. Select Properties. Double check that the startup type is set to automatic. Now start the service. If it's already started then stop and start the service. Please do the same for Windows Audio Endpoint Builder and Remote Procedure Call. Lastly, please check for hardware issues. Try different source device. Try different ports. Try different target device. If you find the problem is only with the specific target device, such as your speaker or headphone then it is time to service or replace it. If you find the problem is with the source device, which is your laptop or computer, maybe the onboard sound card is faulty. In that case, you can buy an external USB sound card, which is easily available at affordable prices. Or you can switch to USB speakers, which generally does not use your faulty onboard sound card. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.